yes let us see what is meant by de morgan's law how to prove the de morgan's law in the set theory right so if you have a union b the whole complement it is nothing but a complement whenever complement comes union will be changing to intersection and intersection will be changing to union that is what you need to remember right so what is this a union b the whole complement is nothing but a complement intersection with b complement this is the first law and what is the second law a intersection with b the whole complement is nothing but a complement union with b complement right and also what is the third law a minus b union c what is the meaning of minus from the a set you need to remove the b union c set agree hmm. this is nothing but what a minus b intersection with a minus c here also whenever minus comes if you want to remove something the union will be changing to intersection and intersection will be changing to union what is the fourth de morgan law a minus b intersection c is nothing but a minus b intersection with a minus c right so now let us see how to prove this de morgan's law one by one and let us see some examples related to that right so what is the first de morgan law for any three sets so let us take two sets here let for any two sets what is this let us consider a and b hmm. what is the first de morgan law we have seen a union with the, the b complement is nothing but a complement union comes means it will be intersection with the b complement right so now let us see how to prove this for proving this what we will do always the, the same way so let us consider one element from the left hand side what is there in the left hand side a union with a b complement what is the meaning of a complement that should not be there in the original set which means that x is does not belongs to what is the original set that is a union b any doubts up to here if you have some doubt i'll write it here if i said x belongs to a complement means obviously x does not belongs to the set a this is the condition i have used here okay huh. so now let us continue so if does not belongs to a union b means if you are applying does not belongs to i can write x does not belongs to a union means what or or will be changing to and agree whenever complement comes union will be changing to intersection and intersection will be changing to and right so this is x does not belongs to b set are you getting my point yeah so uh, let us see what is this x does not belongs to a set means obviously it should be in the complement right and i can say that x does not belongs to b set means obviously it should be there in its complement agree so what i can say x belongs to a complement and means what intersection so from this i can say that x belongs to a complement intersection with a b complement right so we got x is a cell, uh, x is an element which is in this set x is an element which is in this set right and we we are having if and only if statements from this i can say that a union b the whole complement is subset of a complement intersection b complement also a complement intersection with b complement is also subset of a union b the whole complement so with the help of these things actually i can conclude that a union b the whole complement is equals to a complement intersection with a b complement right yeah so now you may have ma'am why we have taken union is changing to and so why because let us see some examples you will understand the concept clearly here so for doing this let us consider the first example what is the first uh, de morgan law we have taken a union b the whole complement is nothing but a complement intersection with b complement for proving this let us take a set a 1 2 let us take a b set which is 2 3 4 let us assume whatever you want you can take okay any example you can take why because this property is and all true for any set okay that is an arbitrary hmm. so first of all let us take left hand side what is there in left hand side a union with b the whole complement let me write it down what is the meaning of this uh, see we have to take a complement complement means what universal set right so let us take a universal set as 1 2 3 4 okay whenever complement comes for the sure universal set is mandatory what is the meaning of this so first of all anything what is a complement a complement is nothing but universal set minus a na the same formula i'll be applying here what does it mean from the universal set you need to remove the a union b right what is the universal set we have 1 2 3 4 minus what is the a union b that is we can say that 1 2 3 4 agree so what will be getting we will be getting what simply what is meant by minus we need to remove the common terms one is common two is common three is common four is common so nothing is left so the leftover will be what empty set so let us consider the right hand side what is right hand side 
A complement intersection with B complement, right? What is A complement? From the A from the universal set, we need to remove A. So I got A complement as three and four intersection with. What is B complement? From the universal set, I need to remove B. So I'll be getting only one single turn set. Is there any common element here? No. So there will be five. So from this, what I got? I got LHS. Is equals to or HS. I think I did not did A complement B complement. If you have any doubts, let me do for your sake. A complement is nothing but what universal set minus A. What is universal set? Which is one two three four. And what is A? A is one two, right? So complement means this is three comma four alone. Agree? Uh, similarly, B set B complement is what universal set minus B. Yeah. So universal set is nothing but one two three four. Minus B set is what two three four. I need to take the rest over elements, which is only single turn one. So these are the things I have used here both. Okay. So try to note it down. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. So now let us see what is the second De Morgan law. So for this, let us consider for any two sets, which is A and B. What is the formula we have? A intersection B the whole complement is nothing but as I said A complement union with B complement. For this is the second De Morgan law. So for proving this, as usually, let us consider one element from the left hand side. What is the left hand side? A intersection B the whole complement, right? From this, what I can say, if X belongs to its complement, means I can say that X does not belongs to the set internal set that is A intersection B. Agree? So what is the does not belongs to now? So X does not belongs to A or X does not belongs to B. That is what I need to take, right? X does not belongs to A or X does not belongs to B, right? Hmm. What is the meaning? X is not there in A means obviously it will be there in its complement. Agree? Or X is not there in B means obviously it should be there in its complement. So from this, what I can conclude? I can conclude that X belongs to A complement or says union. Agree? With a B complement, right? With the help of these two things, what I can say? I can say that A intersection B, the whole complement is nothing but subset of A complement union with the B complement. Also, with the help of if and only if statement, this one. Okay, the other way is also correct. What I can say, A complement union with the B complement is subset of A intersection B, the whole complement. Right? If a first set is a subset of second set and second set is also subset of first set, with the help of equality of sets, I can say that. A intersection B the whole complement is nothing but A complement union with B complement. Yes, this is the proof for the De Morgan law. Is it okay? Now let us see one small example here. Let us consider. What is, first of all, let us write it down. What do we need to prove? We need to prove A intersection B the whole complement is nothing but A complement union with B complement, right? Let us take a A set which is one two. Let us take a B set which is Two three. As I said, we need a complement which is one two three four. Okay, so it will be helpful for us. Let us calculate a complement. A complement means what? Other than the elements which is not in A, na? Which is three four. Let me take it out. What is B complement? B complement means other than the B elements which is one four. Agree? Hmm. So now let us consider the left hand side. What is there in the left hand side? In the question, we need to prove a intersection B the whole complement. Right? What is the meaning here? Universal set minus A intersection B. Right? What is universal set? One, two, three, four. Minus in A intersection B, what is the common element? If you want, let me write it down here. What is A intersection B? We need to take a common element, which is single turn two. Right? So now let us take two. Mm. What is the answer? We'll be getting that is one, three, four. Is it okay? Mm. Now let us consider the right hand side. What is there in the right hand side? A complement union with B complement. What is A complement? I got three four. Union with what is B complement? I got one four. Is it okay? So from this, this is up to here. Hmm. So from this, what I can say, union means we need to combine each and every element one three four. Agree? So if you consider first equation and second equation, we can say that LHS is equals to RHS. This is what we need to prove. Agree? Yes. Hence proof. This is the example. Okay. Now let us see the Third De Morgan law. For the third De Morgan law, we need for any three sets. What is that? Let us consider A, B, C. Okay. Hmm. Actually, what is the law De Morgan law? A minus of B union C 
is nothing but a minus b this will be intersection union will be minus means what we are removing right it will become intersection of a minus c is it okay so for proving this what we will do first of all let us consider one element in the left hand side that is x belongs to a minus of b union c are you getting my point so from this what is the meaning here the element x should be there in the a set but it should not be there in the what b union c set the meaning is x belongs to a set right and x does not belongs to b union c set that is the meaning right agree hmm. now let us see what is this this i can write it as x belongs to a and this is separately we have a, what is the meaning here x does not belongs to b agree this will be whenever you are applying the belongs to union will be what it is going to change into intersection intersection means and and x belongs does not belongs to c set from this what i can say so i already said outside also we are having an intersection intersection which is and so we can do directly what we can say x belongs to a and x does not belongs to b right this is one thing we need to take an and intersection with x belongs to a set and x does not belongs to c set from this what is the meaning here the element x is there in the set a but not in set b so mathematically this is nothing but x is there in a but not in b that is minus b a agree and he the same thing x is there in the set a but not in set c that is what i have written and it means what intersection so from this what i can say x belongs to a minus b and it means intersection with a minus c right with the help of if and only if statements directly what i can say first one is subset of the second one second one is also subset of the first set right so with the help of equality of a sets i can say that a minus b union c is nothing but a minus b intersection with a minus c this is what i want to prove this is the third de morgan law are you getting my point now let us consider one example here okay so let us write what is the third de morgan law a minus b union c is nothing but a minus b intersection with a minus c so for proving this is sake uh, what do we want let us take a a set which is 1 2 3 let us take a b set which is a uh, 2 3 4 and let us take a c set which is let us take a uh, something which is very newly for us so let us consider what is c here which is let us take 1 2 4 mm, newly okay mm. so first of all let us do left hand side separately right hand side separately what is the meaning of a minus b union c yeah? so let me write what is a a is 1 2 3 right minus what is b union c union means we need to combine everything that is that 1 2 3 4 agree union means we need to take all the elements 2 3 4 i have taken 1 2 4 that is also i have taken agree uh, what is meant by minus we need to remove the common elements one is common two is common three is common and we need to take the rest over elements in the first set what is rest singleton 5 okay three is also common you can look into here okay hmm. now let us take the right hand side what is right hand side a minus b yeah? okay so a minus b intersection with a minus c right what is a minus b from the set a we need to remove the b elements which is singleton one is left are you getting my point intersection with from the set a try to remove the elements in the c set one is there two is there so i'll be getting what i'll be getting three here are you getting my point a minus b if you have a doubt let me do, do it here a set is what 1 2 3 -2 b set is what 2 3 4 we need to remove the common elements 2 is common 3 is common so i'll be getting only one here in the same way we can do this what is this a is 1 2 3 -c is what uh, 1 2 4 i need to remove the common elements which is common here One is common, two is common. I need to take the rest over element in the first set. See, this is for your understanding sake. The people who did not understand. Okay. Hmm. Now let us continue. So, is there any common element between one and three? No. So that is five. So from this, I can say that left hand side is equal to right hand side. This is what we need to prove. Agree? Yes. So now let us see the fourth. That is the final uh, de Morgan law. Okay. For any, we'll be considering three sets. that will be a b c the final law is what let me write it down a minus b intersection c the same 
this will be what a minus b intersection will be changing to union this is a minus c so the same proof will be applicable same means little bit changes will be there let me do how let me show you how to do so let us consider one element x belongs to left hand side that is a minus b intersection c what is the meaning here x is an element which is in the set a but not in the b intersection c set right so x belongs to set a agree and what i can say x does not belongs to set b intersection c agree so from this what i can say x belongs to a and x does not belongs to b intersection c so what is the meaning here x does not belongs to b set we are applying does not belongs to and intersection will be becoming or okay and x does not belongs to c set agree so from this what i can say i can say that uh, in between we are having and, and or okay fine so from this what i can say i can say that x belongs to a in between and is there na? and x does not belongs to b this is our first thing minus r means what let us take r as it is this is what x belongs to a in between we are having an and x does not belongs to c right hmm. x is in a set a but x is in not uh, in set b so from this what i can say i can say that x belongs to a but not b that is minus b or this is also x belongs to a minus c does not belongs to c means what minus c so what is the r r means what union i can say that x belongs to a minus b union with a minus c are you getting my point so one such element which is there in the first set and the same element which is there in the second set with the help of a equality of a loss what is equality of law a is subset of b b is subset of a from this i can say that a is equals to b right this is the equality of law so i can say that a minus b intersection c i'll be getting a minus b union with a intersection c right uh, yeah so this is the last property we have done so without the delaying let us do one example here okay so now first of all we need to write what is that what we need to prove okay this is a minus b intersection c is nothing but a minus b intersection will become union this is a minus c so now let us take a a set which is simply take a single term let us take a, a this one a this is p this is l okay hmm. so let us take a left hand side what is there in left hand side a minus b intersection c a a set is a alone is there in any intersection between b and c no so we'll be getting what empty set right from the a if you remove the empty set what we will be getting only the first set which is singleton a right now let us see the right hand side what is right hand side here a minus b union with a minus c from the a set remove the b set we'll be getting singleton a set alone so take it a union with from the a set remove the c set so you'll be getting singleton a what is the union of a and a the same element should not be what repeated in the set so i got a here i got a here so from this i can say that left hand side is equals to right hand side which means what a minus b intersection c is nothing but a minus b union with a minus c yes okay thank you